हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज़ अर्पित एंड यू आर वाचिंग सिंपलर वे हैकर सो वेलकम टू द माय न्यू वीडियो एंड दिस वीडियो इज़ अबाउट मेकिंग यू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज़ अ सिंक अ वेट एंड प्रोमिस सो बेसिकली व्हाई वी यूज प्रोमिस अ सिंक और अ वेट ओके बेसिकली द फंडामेंटल थिंग इज प्रोमिस एंड अ सिंक एंड अ वेट आर द सेम थिंग बट इट गिवस यू डिफरेंस फॉर्मेट टू वर्क विद द कोड सो I think of it simply makes it easier to use promises and promises is something which uh, you can say that um, it's not so clear okay if you as a developer you will read the code promises just make a mess okay but I think in a way it makes it look good so basically they both do the same thing but by different way okay so let's uh, let's get started how these work so first we will go with the promises okay i have already written some code here this is a main function okay and i have uh, calling main function so if i will run the code it will automatically call this code okay and uh, this is a function this is a function test which returns a new promise and by the way if you don't know what is a promise then i'll say go watch a video on promises because this is a tutorial about uh, how, what is different between promises and async and await okay so by the way i will give you a, a, a little understanding what is promises what is promise so basically when you return a promise uh, it says that this work will be, will get completed or it will get not completed okay so in promise there are two function which is reject resolve and reject which returns resolve returns if promise work and reject if promise didn't work okay so where we use promises basically we use promises where the time of working the code how much time the code will take to complete a particular work is not defined like connecting to database and fetching data so when you connect to a database you don't know how much time it will take to complete the promise so uh, this is a promise uh, this is a test function sorry sorry and this returns a promise this promise either will get resolved or get rejected okay we already know that because i told you so let's uh, see uh, for the so uh, uh, down here i have set a to the function test and console log a okay let's first uh, pre, uh, run this code okay when i will run this code which is promise.js and i am running it here by the notes command and uh, you can see that this is a promise and uh, is pending okay so it is neither resolved or neither rejected it is pending the code don't know what is happening inside okay after it will get completed uh, either re get rejected or get re resolved then after that this promise will show you something here so let's resolve this okay as soon as the code will run it will get resolved so if i print now it will that give you that promise working the promise is resolved okay because we are getting the data from resolve function and now let's uh, comment it out and open this function rejected and you can see here the promise gets rejected and and handle warning uh, warning and the promise rejection is unhandled okay so you can handle it by catch i will show you later how to do that okay now so uh, this as you can see the promise either get rejected or resolved okay so now if you will come uh, down here when you set a is equal to test okay i am going to delete the console log when you set a equal to test you set this that this a is a promise now okay it will get resolved or rejected and when you now say that a dot then okay then means this will is the result this is the resolved data okay okay and a catch every javascript developer must know this and this is the error or you can say rejected data now when i will do this this will give me error and this error is not from the catch this error is from here let me change the sentence uh, not faked it's failed and when i will run this this is this promise failed okay and if i resolve the promise 
this will say that working okay now you must uh, you should uh, by right now you must have understood that what this promise to okay so now let's go to the async and await functionality this i have made a file already and this is the same template as the previous one uh, there is a main function which i am calling already and there is a function and a equal to test and console log console dot log a okay uh, so as you can see here i have marked this function as uh, async why i mark this function as async when you mark a function async it's already get converted into promise okay by the way right now i don't even have to mark this function async because i'm not even using a wait under this function why we mark any function async so that we can use a wait keyword inside that async mark function so if i will do this like this await and waiting for uh, something to get completed here okay and waiting for something to get completed here basically this will be a function uh, or call from any api or database so if i'll do this then you need to mark a function a sync otherwise you don't even have to let's remove first and run the function so this is okay when i'll run this it will return me false okay false okay no problem why because this test function is returning me false now let's suppose this test function will again return something which com time of completion is not defined so now what we'll do what we will do is we will just mark this function as as soon as i will mark this function async you will see that it will again return a promise okay and now inside this function what we can do is we can do like this return okay so now if i will do this you will see that the promise is pending why because it this is awaiting for this to get completed by the way this can be anything call from database or anything okay now if i will remove this async you will see that it will give me error okay you cannot use await now why because this function is not marked async if you want to mark any function await you it has to be under a parent function which is marked async so let's again mark it async so that it, it should uh, it start working uh, why am i not typing correctly uh, today so now it will again return me the uh, promise is pending now what what i will do now so uh, when you mark this function async basically we don't have to do and uh, do this uh, do like this okay so what we can do is we can just get rid of the uh, main function right now okay we will just make it main and i will run it down here okay so now what uh, i did it it will again work because uh, this is already a function so i don't need it inside any function so i can mark the function as thing and now just keep your eyes here okay i am setting this a equal to test test is something which is returning me a promise again and consoling na uh, int uh, onto the log consoling log it and uh, when a gets printed it says that this promise is pending okay so how i will complete this promise uh, it, so that it uh, gives me error or gives me an result so what i will do is i will just mark here await okay now again if i will mark this await this will give me an error so you are right i have to mark this function as sync now if i will print this it will print one now this promise is has been resolved whatever this is returning this function test is returning here it is getting resolved so what is the difference between promises and sync so let me show you okay this is right uh, in the on the left the, uh, it is a promise class promise function and on the right this is async okay so here you can see i am returning a promise this more than this code okay so i can here also return working no problem okay so i will dot it will give me working now it is same so as you can see this code is more than this code okay so as in the starting as i told you that basically these two are just differ in the clean code 
thing, uh, thing okay so if you want to write more clean code if you're using promises in your function you can just transfer it to a sync and await it will get more cleaner and more readable by a developer see any any other developer is reading your code he will be he will be able to read better if you using async and await rather than promises and now move on so and the deep down uh, sorry down here you can see that i'm setting a equal to test right here like this but then i'm using a dot then then is something which says that this is this promise is got resol resolved and catch is something said that this promise got failed and here you can see and uh, this will just catch anything come from here okay so yes you have to catch the error and work according to your plans if any error hacker occurs but this code is more cleaner okay so you can just convert this much of code into this okay this is much smaller i if i remove the spaces and the blank line you will see this is more less code than this okay so this is the basic difference between async and await okay so i hope you must have understood by now that what uh, is promised and, and async and await and why to use them okay you can just use any any of them okay they are not so much complicated as you can see you just return a new promise or you just return an await within from a async function okay and uh, after await you can call the database or any other thing okay it will wait for that function to complete and now this function will uh, wait for this async function to be completed okay so you you can just decide what you want to use either promises or either async away okay it's up to you no matter uh, how they are cleaner or not cleaner you can always make your code cleaner by you okay you don't have to depend upon anything so that it makes your code cleaner you are the one who is responsible for making your code cleaner okay so you use any of them yeah Do, it doesn't matter okay so if well i'm going now okay i hope you understood my, uh, from my video and in an easy way i suppose if it was hard just comment it down i will make i will try to make more easier video in future so bye friends and i uh, if you like the video just press the like button and subscribe to my channel so in future you get more videos like this okay bye bye